I'm just jump. I'm just jumping right in today. Hey everybody, actually, I'm not jumping right in because I don't have anything up. It's come. It's it's getting there. Hope everybody's having a good day. You're uh, maybe getting some nice food. I have not started cooking. I'm. It's. We'll get there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. I have started cooking on um on some data data though is the thing. So I started doing this this problem. The real Damie. Yeah, it's me. Real in the flesh. In the Catboy flesh. I am right. <laughs> Gotta put this in announcements at live. Happy Turkey Day. That's all you get. Um, what was I doing? I just kind of realized I have a I have a midterm on this. Like it kind of like sunk in that it's now more days closer to the midterm than wait that didn't make sense. There's less time to the midterm than I th thought. I mean, it's like I'm not gonna like fail. Well, I don't think I'm gonna fail. Because I really was quite bad before, is the thing. And, oh my god, my camera. I need to get like a fucking light or something, man. Hello? Okay. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I did pretty bad before and I didn't fail still. So, um. You know, I'm a lot better than, than back then. I, I was, I started to do this one. Oh my gosh, Clem! My my friend Clemidity Clem. This problem sucks fucking ass. So I'm hoping, I'm praying. Um, because I did I did this one too yesterday without without you guys. Sorry about that. Hi Clem, how's it going? It's been so long. I did this one. Actually, I didn't check if this was right. I should probably check if this is right. But I did this part right, except I rounded my sig figs wrong. My voice? OMG? Is it different? Is it that different? That much different? Really? I didn't think my voice, like, was still changing. It's so different? <laughs> when was the last time you were on stream? Maybe a while ago. Well, I am like kind of sick also. Might be the sickness. Might... Two month? Oh. Then maybe. I don't know. I thought it was kind of done. Well, like I'm a little like... I don't know how to describe it. Whenever I stream, my voice is deeper. The phlegm. Like whenever I'm on calls or like in real life, my voice is higher. But then I'm streaming and I'm like... Eep. Deep voice. I don't know why. I don't. I don't try and do it. Like not on purpose. This is practice. This is gonna be in week nine problem set. I'm just categorizing things. Week nine. Sounds like it's coming from a different place. <laughs> I'm getting taken over by a cosmic being. I think. I think it is. Well, see, the other thing is like I could have just been sick for a while. No, you're so. Thank you. That's very kind of you. That makes me feel lovely. Um, this is all data. No. This problem sucks. I hate this problem. We're not doing that one. These ones, however, are okay. I I should not be here. <laughs> Go to bed. It's too late. <laughs> you don't need to be up uh, learning about... I started doing this. What the fuck is a BTU? What is a BTU? Wait, it's 11.10? Oh, I thought it was a lot later. I mean, that is pretty late. Like, first off, I was like, okay, I have to convert Fahrenheit to Rankin. Which, like, sure, whatever. You add a number. Um, whatever. And I was like, okay, pounds force, yeah, you can convert pounds mass to pounds force, because we need pounds mass. <laughs> I wish I didn't need sleep pinned by chlamydia. <laughs> 
That's <laughs> so funny. But I don't know what the fuck a BTU is, so I can't do this problem. Anyway, that was a long time, me just saying I don't know how to do this problem, so I'm gonna go to a different thing. Okay, um... End. <laughs> I don't know what homework is this. Maybe homework four? I might just do... Wait, that's the solutions. Whoopsies. Where is the not? There we go. Revision highlighted in yellow. Determine the missing values. Oh. I think... I think I did this. I should be doing classwork slash studying, but I have the week off so my brain is in La La Land. I wish that could be me. I am plagued by the work. It's not major classes related. La la la. <laughs> it's so based. I'm plain, plain by work and also fucking mind flayers who live in my goddamn mic and I've tried everything now. I've uninstalled the drivers. I've just straight up smacked it. I can- That's just me smacking it. I have max volume headphones. Don't do that. You should know my psychic beams on this stream. Oh, I'm so sorry. I watch my own VODs back sometimes, you know, to like check audio and stuff, and it fucking scares me. I'm so sorry. This is for, for, you know, when I figure this the fuck out, um, it's gonna, this is gonna be like, I was there when his mic was so bad. <laughs> I'll give you guys a badge that says like, permanent hearing damage. Feels so bad. Fuck. I genuinely don't know what it is. It only happens on this computer too. It doesn't happen on the other ones. God. I was there when his mic jump scared us. I was there when his mic jump scared us every single stream. Ah, <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's gonna probably happen like three more times. I'm just gonna be real. I don't need to do it again. I don't want to do it anytime. <laughs> I don't want to do it anytime. Just lower your headphones, please. Mute me, please, <laughs> please. I try and catch it. I, I have my OBS up specifically for the reason so I can see when the volume bar goes red and I just smash my mic off instantly. You have a hole in each of your eardrums? That sounds bad. That sounds actually bad, is the thing. I'm gonna use the three sigma method. Okay. Get out, get out of here. Get out of here. Five. I don't need big five. Not healing. What? That sounds also bad. Want. ID. And developing hearing loss? Don't. Don't do that. ID outliers. Three sigma. Fine, I'll write three sigma method. No, I'm not gonna write that. I'm gonna write it like this. Model. Three sigma method. Everyone gets to see Damie's awesome engineering handwriting. This is not engineer. You don't want to have to explain to your doctor that Damie's stream made you go deaf quicker. No, please! Don't go deaf because of me. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, guys. Please. I will. No, don't! It would be like, you're a... Damie's model not tracking during that made me shake. Dude, my model tracking has been bad ever since I as ever since I fucking changed my desk and then now my face is half in shadow. Volume is 110. I'm gonna just speak really quietly. I'm speaking really quietly for bug. I'm actually gonna just be really, really quiet. We're just gonna talk like this for the rest of the stream.
Okay, my mic just also turns off sometimes. That just happens. Um, I think I would be very bad at ASMR. I'm not gonna lie. I think I would be awful at ASMR. We've talked about this. Like, Clem and I, I think we talked about this, right? Like, the, like, ASMR VTubers. Sigma equals sum of I. Add an ASMR. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How many? 46. Jesus. So pleasing. Well, the thing is, like, I have a noise gate on. So I don't know how it gets through the noise gate. Like, I genuinely have a- oh my god, you're clipping me. I love how the only clips that are of me now are just of my demons. I'm pretty sure I have a noise- yeah, I have a noise gate on. I don't know- I, I don't- You know what? Fuck it, we ball. I'm doing this on- we're gonna go on a quest together, chat. Okay. Let me look at the name of my mic. Giant static noise. Hitting the mic really hard a few times. Intense static noise, despite there being complete silence. My phone was causing the static. No, it's not that. The lighting. Okay, it's not that. It's not a router. Oh my god, it's Thursday. Um, I will, I will drown. I will drown. But I do not have... I do not have that right now. I just smacked the top of it really hard. I think it's the crap mute system. Um, punch the top. <laughs> Why are multiple people saying punch the top of the mic really hard? What is this? After checking, I'm not hitting my microphone to fix static. I have my phone in another room and static on the mic even when the gain is below the smallest dot. I should probably turn my gain down a little bit. Punch the mic? I did! I, I punched it though is the thing. Punt your microphone? Solution, hitting the mic. 26 days ago, I've had this issue regularly. I've had this mic for more than a year and encountered this very loud and intense static problem just recently. I tried all the means, updating drivers, using other cables, restarting, plugging into different ports, putting phones away, turning off lighting, and nothing worked. Fortunately, I found a solution. Solution, hitting the mic really hard a few times. It might make the static worse at first. I hit it a few more times, it'll magically be gone. The static might come back every other day, but you just have to hit the mic a few times again for it to be gone. Okay, that's not fixing the issue, that's just beating the shit out of your mic consistently. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna beat the shit out of my mic. Let me mute it real quick. Okay. I- keep the mic on? Let us get the beat. Okay, it mutes my mic when I hit the top of my mic. It, so I don't even know if it's gonna sound like anything. This is this is what it sounds like. That's that's the beating ASMR. There you go. It. I don't know what it I don't know what that sounded like. <laughs> okay, if there's if there's static for the rest, if there's no static for the rest of this stream then beating the shit out of it works. If not, it sounded perfect. Like a single note bass boost. I can't believe, I can't believe you just hit it. How to fix terrible sound, occasionally really loud static noise in mic. That will actually hurt my ears when I play back recordings. Um... Wait, doing an F, an SFC, an FS, FSC scan and restarting. Hmm. 
beat the living shit out of it. Weird noise. No, the noise is getting into the system. It could, I mean, it probably is just static, like interference. Weird audio. Well, okay, this is not weird background noise. This is like literally waving the mic around. What is, what is this? I'm gay. Okay, that's not useful. Making a pop sound. You're making Pong in my industry? That's cool. Okay, this is just a pop filter. That's not... That's not... I think I've run out of the sites that <laughs> are answering this question. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. Mine does this eye thing after it randomly disconnects and reconnects. Okay, wait, you guys clipped it, right? I should just send them that clip and be like, fix my mic, please. Okay, that's what I'll do. Okay, I'll leave this up. I'm just gonna, I'll just send them that and be like, hey, this happens every sync. Oh, you didn't clip the static? Okay, that's fine. I can clip it. I can go back and clip it. I think Rev has clipped it once before. This is, okay. We need like a, a minutes without static counter going on this fucking stream because it happens so often. It makes me so sad. And I also feel bad because the thing is like, you guys are here. You kind of know it's gonna happen like at some point, like, you know, Umbra and Clem and like Bug and you know, other people who come around. But like if a new viewer comes in it's the first time they hear it. It's like, I'm attacking you. What if I have a pinned message in chat? Hi guys, Damie is actually going to um, blow you up, but don't worry because that's just what he does, you know. That's just our thing, we do that on here. Oh god, subs values. Best idea for a counter is seconds without the letter E. Scones? Sc like scones? Scones? Subs values. Okay, so sigma equals 555.1. 555 That's already squared, I think. Or at 500, can you just do, have a stream where you just do like 500 different counters on screen? Well, I want to bring back Unidle. Um, now, now, like when I debut, again, when I re-debut with my new model. Although I don't know what the setup I'm going to have for it. No, I think I can figure it out. I think I can figure it out. I miss Unidle though, that was like my insanely neurodivergent <laughs> I guess, endeavor and uh, I miss, I miss that. Um, okay, let me like do this really simple. The one Tumblr, I'm trembling, I reblogged it from you. I reblog a lot of stuff, I'm gonna be honest, like on my uh my side blog. 470122214. Okay, whatever. How many do we have? We have three decimal places. 474. And what is this in? Is there units? It's no units. Inches. Add a depth. Oh my god. Okay. Bug, you might have- I don't remember if I talked about this on stream, but like, one of the things I really wanted to do was, in, in terms of like an engineering project, like one of the first things I wanted to do, I think, in terms of like, break- Well, okay, the first thing I ever wanted to do was make the flamethrower pneumatic strap-on, but that was for YouTube. But in terms of like, Twitch stuff, because I wanted to like do- 
ad? Wait, you guys are getting ads? I should not... I don't have mid-roll ads on. I'm not... You're not? Okay. Well, maybe it's because... Well, I know some people run, like, a pre-stream ad so that they can, like, turn off the ads. Loser! <laughs> no! Um... Fuck, I did think I turned that off. What? Why is it saying three minutes per hour? What? No, I don't want to turn that on, you ass. What the fuck, Twitch? Well... Okay, I'll have to look into that too. Add it to my list of way I'm putting it on my list. Um, fix mic. Can I disable auto emotes? Is that not a client thing? Fix mic. Um, oh, I also have follower emotes that I need to do, but I'm gonna do that when I debut or redebut. Fix mic. Fix ads. Okay. How many follower emotes? I know, right? We can actually have people using damey things in chat. What was I doing? I already forgot. Um, okay, I have this standard deviation, and then I need to say, like, three sigma method. Three sigma <laughs> equals 3.747 times three. Crazy world. So, um, the mean. So, outliers. Right. Uh, x min equals mu. I should probably put this up there. Okay, my mic did just turn itself off. So... If we if we hear static again, <laughs> just a bunch of emotes. Oh, the 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 octopus one. Whoa. <laughs> right, do I have space? Okay. I'm gonna move these over here. I have to be very meticulous about my and then substval substval sigma and substval. Outliers. The tablet's also fucked up a little bit. Yeah, I'm just... Getting old digitally is, uh... Kinda how I think of it. <laughs> An old angel, no. Right, so... X min... Equals... 3, oh. Oh. Whoops. Mu equals. Oh, god damn it. Mu equals. X bar plus. Oh, X bar. Wait. Sum i equals 1 to n x of i over n. Mu equals 305. I was like, that's a really large number. 3056.81. 981. 985? Drama. I like it when my model loses tracking and I just like. It looks like I get really excited about something. I'm like. Funny. Uh, equals, I don't know, something. I love numbers so much. Um, okay, so 66. 
minus. I don't think any of these will be outliers. Well, maybe if you had a big enough data set, they could be cons you could consider some outliers. Let's see. Oh, yes, we do have some outliers. That is a four. That's not the number I wanted to write. <laughs> it's e to the what the is that i oh e to the i pi plus 15.5 minus e to the i pi plus 4 pm right now so i might head off yeah go for it go ep totally i have been trying to eep earlier and it really is a great thing so this one is cut off I'm feeling kind of e pop. <laughs> oh, math joke. Identify both kind of outliers in the sample using the box plot method. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. Compare the limiting results to those you obtained in problem 1.5. What? This is problem 1.5. Oh, maybe just like how many are outliers. The mean of the population, the mean of the next 15 measurements. Oh, I shouldn't say this. This is X bar. Oh god, I shouldn't say this either. This is S. That is... that's a sin. That's a sin what I just did right there. I just got so excited about the sigma, you know? It's in the name, 3 sigma. It's not the 3S method. Go bed, go bed. Yeah, I should probably practice with 5.1, 5.2. I need my T statistics, baby. <sighs> okay, we'll do that on another one. Anyway. Okay, 5.2. How have you guys been? How's the weather been lately? It's been too hot here. Doesn't feel like November. Cold? Aw, oh, lucky. You've been getting back into collecting? I remember you mentioning that before. Oh god, why did it undo something? Are you doing like any like customization stuff or? <gasps> That's so awesome. You should send a picture in Starfy so I can see. No, just collecting. That's swag. I will? Hell yeah. Oh, I just realized I need to like do SolidWorks at some point. Nah, I don't need to do SolidWorks. No one's gonna be fucking doing the solid works that we've done. That's it's asking too much. We will be doing that shit in class. I guarantee it. I mean, I could do it on stream, but I'd rather do other solid works. Think about doing that today. Other solid works. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So mu. Mu. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, mu equals x bar plus or minus t s over square root of n. I think. Yes. So we want to plot. Well, I mean, we can say n, what do we have, 46? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, x bar 46, t 46, s 46. Just in case, you know. 
Oh shit! I gotta like get all this stuff sorted out too. I had some of the. Well, I have I have some of the values, so we don't have to like worry about it too much. But okay, so we want to predict a mu from our x bar. So this is gonna be x bar forty sixes, and this one is gonna be straight up x bar forty six. This one is like mu one. This one is mu two. Well, if one like come this way, the other one come. This way, and uh, yeah, that's kind of how we're that's kind of how we're looking at it. Okay, so P, this is gonna be X forty six minus. It's like a stupid amount of work, but. It's just like how much like not really useful writing you have to do in this class. Like writing all the 46s and then at 99.5%. Ah. It sounded like a metal pipe. Well, okay, so we have categorized that the static. Either I didn't hit it hard enough, or the static is just here to stay. Did that sound worse or better? Because maybe it was in the stage of the people saying, you need to hit it harder. <laughs> maybe it's a new friend. It sounded strange. Did it sound like it was getting better? Do you want me to clip? Yes. Because I know what the other one sounded like. The other one just sounded like like white noise at a million percent volume, is how I describe it. I used to sound like the wind. Do you remember when I would turn into the wind? Those were those were the good days when I would just turn into the wind. Um, wait, where where I lost? That. Oh no, it's here. Yes, win. <sighs> okay, I'll wait. I'll wait on that. I'll, I'll, I'll finish up this level. Okay, so we got this. So we have X bar. N S volume warning. <laughs> Need T. Okay, I'm gonna mute my desktop audio while I watch this. Does it really sound like a metal pipe? Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! That's... Oh my god! It sounds like I'm exploding you. What did the other one sound like? I'm... Oh my god! It literally sounds like... Did it sound less loud? Okay, let me... Okay, we've done more percussive, less destroyful. Okay, I've done more percussive maintenance. It... If it gets more <laughs> metal... The, your metal pipe is like wait i need to listen to this again one second i just needed to turn i needed to turn off like my music maybe i need to like restart my computer more i just need to like hear how loud it is compared to like what volume you guys would be listening at normally oh i have an idea what if i just make my entire stream really 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 loud and then when this happens it won't be as loud 
So you guys just can turn down the volume like a lot. What do we think about that? <laughs> what do we think about that? Here, we'll do, we'll do a test run. What if I just start speaking this loud all the time? Would that, would that work better? Very Coco Melon solution. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, we'll try we'll try this for now. Maybe it, it'll maybe it'll lessen it just a little bit. I need to I need to hear how bad this is though. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mute my mic. <laughs> you could hear it. I turned it up. <laughs> They're not even on headphones. That's so fucking bad. That's it literally scared me. <laughs> oh my god, we need to fix this fuck I'm an engineer. How do I not know how to fix this problem? Bro, what the fuck are they teaching me in school that I can't fix my damn mic problem? Oh my god, this is embarrassing. I mean it is, it's bad. It's like I'm I'm killing you guys with hammers like every stream. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do about that. I did smack it like a lot more. I really want to know what it sounded like before now. Fuck. I wonder if it's getting worse or better. I don't know. I wonder if he wants me to do a... I don't... I don't really think that I... <clears throat> can do this for this, because this is just like this. You can listen when the stream's over, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I could listen to it on one of the VODs. I wonder how long it would take me to... If I... Wait, on one of like my downloaded VODs, I just have them right here. I don't even need to load them. Sometimes it just happens, like, randomly is a thing. Like, sometimes I'll be trying to record something, like, on my OBS and it'll happen. I wish I could see the sound, like... <laughs> I immediately found it. It's so bad. A lot more it's so funny on this one because I'm just like drawing a flower and then it just like blows up. <laughs> I'm so so this is like this is like a Wayne radio bit but like it's just my life and I'm fucked up for it. Like but I just like to show off. Oh my god this I don't know why I do know why, because it's just not real. This is the worst. Okay, well, I mean, the only thing I do know is, like, it's not, like, I, I don't think it's this mic. Because, like, I don't have this issue when I, um, when I stream, like, on my other computer. It doesn't do that. It didn't do that, and I streamed way more. So it's like probably something about the USB speed or like the overload of USB. My laptop hates me. I think it does, but I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like, I don't hate my laptop, but like I kind of torture my laptop. Um, it's, uh, it's not great. Well, cause I mean, right, I'm like streaming and I'm running basically machine learning at the same time which is like vtube studio and then you know it's like there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on it's not a not the best wait this needs to be 0.99 so one minus 0.99 five over two equals 0 0.995 minus 1 divided by 2 0 0.0025 equals alpha and then new 
equals 46 minus 1, 45, from table, man, I don't know what it is, I kind of, I mean like it's a good mic, but like this is consistently happening and it's so bad and like it, it is a toxic relationship. I mean, both my computer and my- both my computer and my mic, let's be real. What are they doing? Uh, I need to look up- oh, my table. My tables! Oh, I have to go in between 50. Okay, 0 0.025. Okay, 24, or... Numbers. Where did I just put my pen? What the heck is- oh. Kind of all over the place. TV equals 40, or well, it's new. Uh, well, are you guys eating any good food today? you have any fun plans for that stuff? Nope. Weekend. Oh, fun. I'm gonna watch a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. And I'm gonna have potatoes. And that's it. Can't write a smiley face. I'm gonna get blown the fuck up if I write a smiley face. What was I for a solvent? Oh, mu. <laughs> mu equals. Five 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 point one six three divided by forty six twelve point oh six eight eight minus gives us two point nine time me 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 calculated this other thing over here small thing. Uh, 3.474. And all that over. Square root? Yeah. Alright. On just a normal amount of time to spend on a statistics problem. 43 minutes. It's okay, I haven't been doing it for that long. Just so quiet because I don't want to like just say numbers out loud. <laughs> One point four. What the heck? One point five. Oh no, we're gonna have to trunk truncate this baby a lot. Zero point twelve point one. That's our mean. I mean at ninety nine point five percent confidence, which is very confident. Statistics is kind of just the science of. Hey, bro, trust me on this one. But your trust me on this one is kind of like, you know, if I look outside and I don't know the weather, I'm going to guess it's going to be a livable temperature. It's like you're you're not wrong, but it's also like you didn't really help that much. So our mean is this within plus or minus 1.5. Okay, that's kind of a lot, but. Wait, what the f- wait, 12? It's, it's- okay, it's not 12, wait, what? 
get this? Wait, 3056. Oh, I did divide the other one. I was going to say, it should not be 12. <laughs> Only 66 is pretty much, and we just got a 12. Okay. That's funny. 66.4561, and then 66.5. That makes more sense. And that's also a lot better range. Ooh, okay. Um, I feel like this is pretty chill. I want to do... Mm, there's like some calculus ones to do. Oh, what is this? Okay, below is a plot of cumulative relative frequency from a complete sample of temperature measurements. Determine the relative frequency, not cumulative. Oh. Hmm, this is actually interesting. I don't know if I took the screenshot correctly. Oh, I did. Nice. Okay, this is an interesting one. Turned on the ruler for a second there. All right. We know there are 286 measurements that occur within the... Okay, so 286 within the 90 to 210. So that is to say that from here... To here? Wait. Uh, to here. Because that's how Excel does it. This is 286, I believe. Okay, determine the relative frequency. So, cumulative is saying we're taking the frequency of the previous one and adding it up. So, like from here, this is our like 100%. So this would be our, our one, all the way up here. So that means that if we kind of work our way backwards, how many sections are there? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, so one, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that is nice. Each one of these is this is like this is ten, and this is one. Okay, Julio. So we know that, for example, between one eighty. I mean, this is one eighty. Five, I guess. Like there, there are no measurements between 185 and 190. So we know that between these two, there's 286 data points. And our top frequency is going to be, so let's see, one, two, three. So 35% of all of the previous data is, is uh, you know, 286 plus a certain amount of data. But if we want to only have it be a certain range, then we wanna, I wanna say we subtract these two this one, <clears throat> I think, is this is telling us that this is 5% of the data and that 5%, like this, these are just make up 5% of the data. And then this makes up 10 and this makes up 20 and up to here makes up 25 and up to here makes up 35. If we're trying to say all of the numbers starting out 
What would that even- wait, wait, it's not one... God, this numbering is really bad too, so 190 is really the top of this bin, so this is 190. So this is 180. This is 185. And this is 175, okay. So we're looking from... Ooh, thinking, thinking brain. It's certainly 35 minus something. Wait, determine the relative frequency for, for the bins marked. Oh. Marked 225. So we want to determine this one, which is 225. And this one, which is 230? Oh, god damn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, how do you do that? Hmm. Well, I think the relative frequency for this would be zero. Because we're not gaining any frequency. So that means that in this bin, we've added zero. So I think the relative frequency would, would be zero there. And for here, the relative frequency is, okay, what is it defined as? Let's maybe we start with that. That would that would probably be a good place to start, probably, right? Yeah. Relative frequency is fj equals f big fj over n. So this is our basically how many times it happens over how many total data data we have. So it's like the the percentage, right? It's like the probability that it'll occur. So if you have five numbers in there and it's out of, you know, 10 numbers, that's going to be 50% frequency, relative frequency. And in the cumulative frequency graph, we're just taking the relative frequencies and we're adding them up. But is it, is it based off of how much, I guess, I guess it would be the difference between So like the relative frequency of this, well, this one is going to be, this one is straight up going to be 5% because we, we know that it's the first one. There's no cumulativeness. This one is going to be 0%. This one is going to be 5%. This one is going to be right, like 10% or whatever. Okay, if I change, if I, if I add up all of the, these changes by this logic, that should come out to 100. So let's see if that happens. If it doesn't happen, then we are a little screwed. This one's 10. This one's 1, 2, that's 15. 1, 2, the 15. 10. 10. And five. Okay, if these, if this is our, let's see. The five plus five plus ten plus five plus ten plus fifteen plus fifteen. Ten plus ten plus ten plus five. Okay, they do add up to a hundred. So that that is what it is. So yeah. So we don't care about this bit that I was just doing before so okay now we have to write it in words though okay so a want is fj of b e, b b two two five b two three o 
So model or analysis. I'm at a family dinner, but hi. Hi, Rev. Evil mode? Okay, I'll be evil mode. I do feel evil mode working on this. Go evil. Grr. Grr. Well, it is kind of evil because I did I did attack people twice this stream already. This is my emo mode. Technically, it's not evil. I need to make a proper evil mode on my on my new model. Or maybe I'll just put some devil horns on him. That sounds kind of good. I feel like I should just do that. I could do that today. I should do that tonight. Should we add? Should we just draw them? Can I reveal what my new model looked like? How many people are here? Drown him Friday? I don't have any water. Oh fuck, you're putting multiple drown him Fridays. Oh god. Oh god. You didn't? I, I definitely did at one point. You wanna see? Okay, I'll, I'll I'll show. Wait, let me let me. We'll draw some devil horns for him. Oh, it's okay, it's just you guys. I have to get water. Okay, wait, let me sure. Okay, I'll go get water real quick. And then I'll then we'll draw devil horns for evil mode. Okay, I'm gonna mute so my mic doesn't blow up. Okay, I got water. Um, I feel like every time I get a giant glass of water for like a Drown Him Friday, I always feel like I'm gonna like spill it everywhere. Like on every possible item that I own. Um, I guess just normal, normal boy boss things. It's very cold. Um, let me open, let me open this. I don't remember if I showed off the whole thing, but I'll show off like his face again. Where is he? Not what I needed. Wait, is this? Where would this actually be? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Wait, I ta I tabbed out. It's okay. I haven't I haven't opened him yet. Where is he? Where is he? Where did I put him? I forget. Uh... Not any of that. Did I put him in my moving box? Maybe? What? The uh, what? Where is he? Is he in this? No. Hello? I forget where I've stored him away. I hope I have this file, because I kind of wanted to add stuff to it. Did I put it like... Let me just search for it, what am I doing? I can do anything on the PC. Not on. 2.0 okay it's searching it's my computer is it's pulling back many many things okay so come <laughs> cumul fj oh jesus christ fj each bar Uh, is Preve Freak. <laughs> we got Come, we got Freak. I gotta stop, I gotta stop. 
Uh, brief frequency plus current, or yeah, current bin freak. So bin one on the graph gives a regular freak fj a uh, relative the hunger is hungering real this thing is still searching for my file so but i got to draw devil horns so it's going to it's going to not be a quick segment it's not going to just be like a, a a gasp in the wind um to be i don't know what did i say that was 5% Change, change in bin, change from bin to bin equals relative frequency. Look, there we go. Okay, determine the sample size. So, this is the bit that now we have to figure out. Oh wait, no, never mind. I did, I figured it out. It's we're chilling. We're we're absolutely straight chilling is the thing. Okay, want uh n sample size. Um okay, so we have analysis So we have fj equals fn over n. n equals fn over... Uh-oh. Wait, never mind. We don't have the frequency. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We can find the number of those and then... uh, You know. Okay, so need a uh, frequency. Or um, given chunk. Uh, use with FJ of new chunk to find total n. Um, that isn't used with fj to find total n. Sure. Yeah, because subval we're saying 286 equals f oh wait, god damn it. I want to say, uh, fn equals n times f. So fn equals 286 times, uh, 5% plus 10% plus 5% plus 10%. <laughs> Oh god, there's so many files. Uh oh. Is this it? I'm gonna be really sad if I didn't actually bring my file for this. It's kinda looking like I didn't, because I think this is the old one. Is this the old one? Yeah, this is old, I think. Where uh-oh. Oh, and my... My folks aren't home right now either, so I can't just, like, be like, hey. Man, that's really sad. Oh, wait, it's right here. I'm dumb. I don't know what the heck. Wait, no, this is not the right... This is not the most updated version. Okay, no, I don't have it, I don't think. Is 
Is it not in here? Is it not in old somehow? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Damn it. Damn it. So sad. Need to ask my, my folks about that then. Well, maybe they are on their way. I don't know. This on my computer at home. I kind of need that though. Not gonna lie. Well, I'll have, to, I'll have to ask my brother. Wait. Can I ask you to snag a file from my computer? My you at home. Lol. I forgot it. I could have sworn I specifically had this file though. Because I was like, um, I need it, um, for stuff. I know I brought my blender stuff. And put it in exports. Man. What the heck? It sucks. Anyway. No, no devil horns for, for Damie then, I guess. Let's see, so this would be 30% to 86 uh, times 0 0.3. So the relative, uh-oh. How would the frequency be that? Um, it shouldn't be 85.8. Um, 286? Hmm. Oh, wait, 190? Oh, okay, this is 190. So it's, it's, uh, 25. That's still bad. Wait, uh-oh. Uh... Uh... If it was 20, it would still be bad. If it was 15, would it be bad? It would still be bad if it was 15, huh? Those are like all the options. Use the equations we've developed in this course, but then in chapter 2, and then it's obvious. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> this one, I mean, we could figure out the three quartiles and X min and X max potentially. Um, there might be a better way to do it, but X min and X max, you just choose the top of this and the top of this. And then you can do the quartiles based off of like, okay, well, this is 10. This is, so this will, here would be 20, and then the middle of that bin. But, what is this? This one is getting... We know that... Wait. Oh, of 210. This is 210. Over here. So it's 50, it's... 40%? Of 286? I also want everyone to know that I have to plug in static. So that's why I just go quiet, like, after the static happens. I don't know what- I don't know what the fuck is up with this problem. One, two... Wait, is that four? Is it 2286 times... what would that be, 20? Be 45? 
No, that's not it either. There's literally no like combination of numbers. Okay, 0 0.5 would work, but there's no way that 0.5% of the data is in here. But like divided by two, divided by three, no, divided by two, no, divided by four. Oops, I'm clicking that. Divided by two, divided by two. Yeah, you can only divide by two. What is up? 210. One, two, three. Yeah, that's 15%. One, that's, that's 5%. One, two, that's 10%. One, two, that's 10 What is going on? Okay, I'm gonna look up the, we're looking up the answer. I wanted to see if they like say that it's... Also, we can't do evil Damie because I, I don't have the file for it. And I just realized that. And it's very sad. That's not it. Where is this? That's not it. Although I got the other one right. Oh. Yeah, did I round to 66.5? Did we stay winning? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. Oh. Oh, that's a different one. Never mind. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out. Um, if I did this right, we want to know the cumulative frequency. Yes, yes, yes. It's ten percent, zero percent. Okay, good, good, good. It's the difference between the bin size. So that's correct. Zero point four. Wait, 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 wait. 0.4. It's divided? Wait a second. Wait a second. Fj equals two. Yeah, the sum of Fj. Yeah, the bit. Oh, wait, that's the frequency, not the N? No, wait, that is the N. Wait, 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 no, that's the free. I'm losing my mind. Um, I spent like a million years trying to figure out why this wasn't working, and it's just because this is like this. It's this is N, and this is FJ, FJ over N. FJ over little FJ, and they give us FJ. Oh my god! Oh my god, gamers, we're so, it's so Jover. It's so so Jover. Divided by, divided by, and it equals seven something fucking I don't know. Seven fifteen. I gotta. I gotta. <sighs> anyway. Okay, well, um, and I got the last part conceptually right, even though I didn't write it down. I said it out loud to you guys. You guys are my witness. Oh, what time is it? Okay, okay. We have, okay, I could do through chapter six. What is chapter seven? What the fuck? 
We don't. Did we do chapter seven yet? Oh no, that's curve fitting. I don't think we're doing curve fitting on this exam. I mean, I should probably, probably check that. Wow, data analysis. Nice. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little make my brain explode, but. Um, homework six. Ooh, wait, okay, wait, this is actually good. I might be able to help you with this. Oh, yeah. It's, it's okay, here's my take, is like, it's not that hard. Um, it's just that my the specific professor, compared to the other times I've come here, the specific professor I have is kind of, um, uh, he just doesn't tell you like what he wants, and then he takes off like a bajillion points for not doing it the way that he wants, but he doesn't like say it. He says like, look at how I do it, and just like expects you to, I'm very neurodivergent. <laughs> I'm like, I need you to say it out loud is the thing. Okay, but I can do this. This is like, this is a, this is a great one because uh, the other time I wanted to do this question, they just gave really bad, uh, gave really bad values, pure statistics. It's not exactly pure statistics. So like, this is not statistics. Oh my god, is he a stats PhD? No, he's not. <laughs> this is a this is an engineering course. So it's kind of like um the most basic ass Gaussian statistics you can imagine for infinite populations. Um and then oh let me turn my light on. And then just like also uncertainty propagation. I've got a stats PhD teaching us engineering. Oh, that would be like, that would be nice. No, this guy is just an engineer. He's just not a great, um, goes into the wildest derivation. Oh yeah, we don't, yeah, he does not ask us to do that shit. I mean, he's, he has, okay, he's kind of funny. I, I just like, I'm excited to write his evaluation because like he's a decent guy, but it's just like, I, there are some things where it's like, he could actually be really good if you just like, did a couple things differently. Um, we want to do uncertainty. Uncertainty. Propagation. We may use any method. Okay, we're using the general one. But yeah, he was basically like, uh, take a real stats class. If you don't, <laughs> he's like, what do we do if our population isn't Gaussian? Here's a whole chapter about it. Um, it's probably Gaussian enough. Yeah, so our, uh, our ours is a little bit janky. But okay, so model, we're using general method of onsert prop, which is u of r is equal to dr dx1 times uncertainty in x1 squared plus dr dx2 uncertainty of x2 squared dot 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 dot, dot one half i don't know how to implement the buddy system in malloc and free i don't are, are those languages <laughs> that's crazy um we're gonna say find uh find Okay, we want to find the value of g. So find g nominal. Uh, uh, let's say solve for want first. That's our first step. Okay, so t equals two pi times l over g. So g equals t over 2 pi. Is that going to flip it? Squared. 2 pi over t squared times l. Is that true? Let me think. 
I can do it in multiple steps. I probably shouldn't try and do it in one step, but I'll, I'll write it. I'll cut it down after. Okay, so let's see. So t over 2 pi equal, or I can do squared. It's squared equals l over g. g equals, right, l divided. Okay, that's different. l divided by. I mean, we can write it as like l times 2 pi over t squared, I think. Heap is just tree and it can branch to leaf nodes. I keep having the heap and find space to malloc. I don't know what that means. Um, I thought, I think a heap, a heap is a complete binary tree. Yeah. So you don't have um, like an unbalanced tree. All of your... Can I explain a heap? I, yeah, I can. So it's like, you know how you can have a binary tree, right? And it's it's branching paths. So you can have this, you can have this, you can go down here, you could go over here, you could go over here, you could you know go over here and have one, you could go over here and here and here, and right? So that's like, you can do kind of whatever, this is just a binary tree. Um, but to have a heap, you have to have it populated. So if you're gonna have, you know, stuff after it, it has to be full. You can, I think, have just one, but if you're gonna have like two branching off of something and you have something here, it can't, you can't have like, you can't have like this kind of shit where it's like, where it's like, you would have to have another thing like here. So it's it's like each level up the tree is like populated evenly. Like that's a heap. Like that. I think. What does heapify mean? I actually used to know, I think, what heapify means. Let me see if I can jog my memory. Yes, yes. Oh god, yeah. So you can take a binary tree. Right, because a, a heap is just a specific kind of binary tree. Um, and you can sort like those numbers into a heap to find them. What would be your idea to design an operating system file system, a linked list or a heap? I think there's so many questions that would go into like what I need it to do and, you know a bunch of other stuff and also me taking an OS class. But I think, yeah, it's like, I don't know enough about the efficiency of the the two to, to like be able to suggest one. Cause I, I did learn about I did learn about heap heapify. That's why I that's because I was like it's in my it's in my brain from a data structures class because you can take you know a, a kind of messed up like binary tree that's like all weird and 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 wacky and you can you can turn it into you know a nice populated heap like this or something. Oh, you're trying to understand the concept of how a file system works. The way I see it is when I click into a controller, it branch to its contend, but is it a double linked list? Well, from what I remember about a linked list, a linked list is like you start at a place and you're, you have a lot of stuff and you're kind of going to a place and then that you know, goes there. But I think when you're in here, you could still see the whole, you can still reference the whole linked list. Like you can travel back up. I feel like maybe if you look into like CD, like right, like in a terminal, like how like CD works, to go to like a, a directory, that might, that might help you. Because I, I think that is a little easier than just thinking about files. 
Okay, so we have this. I think this is right. I really need to make sure this equation is right. I mean, I guess I could just solve for backtracking. I don't know exactly how it works, but like, I think I think you, if you had a linked list, you would probably have a pointer for like where a person is, right? And so if all of these have this and maybe this one goes here and maybe this one goes like, oh, or whatever. Like if your if your pointer is here, and you're trying to be in this linked list, like I think you can probably like erase the pointer here and like move it to somewhere else, right? Like no matter if you're in something, I don't know if it has to be, I don't know if it has to be both ways. Do you know what I mean? But it's been a long time since I took data structures. That was uh, a couple years ago now, and I had a very bad professor for that one, so. See, so g over l equals, right, 2 pi, and then we flip it, it would give us l over g, and then we square root, and then we times 2 pi, yeah. Okay, so now we need to say uh, substval g nom equals or nom equals, uh, ba, 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 ba. okay, so 0 0.823 times 2 pi over 1.823. I should probably put units, huh? Uh, let's see, meters per second, okay, meters, and the squared. All right. Oh, that's kind of fun. We can like see if we're right or not with our g value. So 2 pi divided by 1.823 squared times 0 0.823. 9 9.77. 9.7765637. Good enough. We don't want to get rid of any sig figs until the end, meters squared per second. Or meters per second squared, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so now we want to find partials. I'm going to do it over here. Partial, so um, partial with respect to... Uh, let's do L. D, R, D, L. It's going to just equal... Right, 2 pi over t squared, so d partial, or sorry, dr, partial of r with respect to t is our other one. That one is going to equal l, well, so this is really the same as equals l, l or pi squared over t squared. So that's l for pi squared times times, right, we take the negative 2 and we do t to the negative 3. Uh, is that tr is that right? It's been a while, yeah. These to them being like the fractional versions, I guess. I don't need this anymore. That's just for illustrative example. Now we just subst val for uh, u of r. u of r is kind of equal to, let's see, so pi over u i over t squared times the uncertainty do this. Uncertainty of t squared plus uh, we can simplify this. L negative 2 L pi negative 2 L pi squared over t cubed times u of t. No, this one is u of l. u of t squared Um, 
I'm supposed to do uh, like bear. Oh god, now we have to like do the calculation here. Over 1.8. And its uncertainty was... Oh... What is... No, we have to find its uns... A standard deviation? Hello. Aoba? I wonder if that's... First I read that as Soba, because I only read the last three letters. Is it standard deviation gonna be? I'm gonna just go with the fact that it's standard deviation is gonna be uh, our, our uncertainty. 0 0.06... I don't know. That's so simple. Yeah, it's it's. This is very simple. Like, it the complicated part is just how you're supposed to write it is the thing. Because we're supposed to write it like uh, we're writing a technical memo. I mean, you have to do like a couple partials, but it's like very very straightforward. <laughs> L is zero point eight. We do other we do other statistical things, which are a little bit more in depth, but not not too much more in depth, I'm gonna be real. 0.823. Yourself some differential equations. Yeah, I can't get into that class. Been trying for uh half a year now. I mean, differential equations too. I've I've taken one, but and I can't take mechanical vibrations till I take that one, so I can't even can't even be done with all that. Zero point zero. Wait, pendulum length. Oh, do I need to do time as well? Mechanical engineer. Yeah. Oh, I might need to. I think I just need to do that. Root sum square for the uncertainty. Change that. Yo, me too. Oh, that's awesome. What year are you? I'm a, I'm a sophomore, so that's why, <laughs> that's why this class is not hard. Two point zero zero one. Where am? There's no such thing. Oh, so not U.S. England. Not England. I don't know, I'm used to England being the one with the... Don't... doesn't... I don't know, British systems are, are, are fascinating to me. Roman Calc 3? Okay, our Calc 3 is something different, because our Calc 3 is like really early. Our Calc 3 is like... that's uh, how you end... where you end after one year of math. Calc 4 is multivariable. And then linear analysis one is linear algebra and intro to differential equations. And then um, and linear analysis two is uh, like Fourier series and uh, applications of differential systems. And then mechanical vibrations is pretty much just resonance, but like, oh, you're on series? Fourier, Fourier series or just regular series? I did, I did that, oh no, I don't know which one you said yes to. Uh, I, I did that my first quarter. I did like Calc 3 my first quarter. I like multivariable a lot. I think that was my favorite, one of my favorite classes I took. Do I have kinematics? Uh, kinematics. We do have a class called kinematics. Oh, like, like basic 
physics stuff. We have, um, wait a sec. Let me We have, um, so we have three physics, so I'm on a quarter system, so it means that we have three like class periods. So the idea is that you take like one, two, three for like calc, and that's like one year. So that's like one year. And so there we have three physics, one, two, three. This one is mechanics. This one is random. It's not called that, but it's random. And this one is e &M. So electric, electrostatics and magnetism. And this one is like thermo and sometimes intro to fluids and optics and so yeah, it's like optics. Uh, what else do we do? L waves, mechanical waves, uh, thermo. Yeah. And then I'm in statics right now, so static equilibrium, and then I'm taking dynamics next quarter, which is just the same thing, but stuff moves instead. And then we have advanced dynamics, I think, after that, I want to say. Kinematics is dynamics, yeah. Yeah, because we call, like, kinematics are, like, the the like parabola equations like for physics whereas like our dynamics is um we take it usually in conjunction with our quote unquote mechanics of materials class so that's like cross-sectional analysis area moment of inertia stress and strain applied loads that kind of stuff mechan engineering is so hard there are no bitches in class uh, do you mean women? <laughs> or do you mean like, you mean like, you mean bitches as in like annoying people? I wish there were more women in my classes because normally the most annoying thing is the guys who... Ah, I see. I have, I have like, some women in my classes, but not a lot. I mean... The most annoying people are annoying too. No, dude, the women in the women in engineering are the most normal people. The guys who are like, oh, I fucking love cars, bro. Who don't who don't care about anything and just want to goof off and don't do any work in group projects. <laughs> Make me want to claw my eyes out. It's like, damn, guys. We uh, we step it up here. We kind of need to be engineers. I think I need to root some square of these before. I'm gonna do that. Zero point zero senses. Oh, I can I can turn off my emo mode. Normal, my normie core. We only what? That's so fake. Dude, every guy who's there is like, in all my classes, is like, the best way I can describe it is there's this one guy in my welding class who like, literally didn't care about anything. And he was like, I'm gonna weld like with my welding gloves off cause, cause bitches love scars. And I was like, dude, you are so fucking dumb. <laughs> like, that's how, and then there are some guys who just do racing, but we have like, I mean, my school is a, we do a lot of racing, like formula stuff, so. Yeah, it's, uh, most of the women are just, like, chill. Although, I, it is just, like, I don't know, it's just funny because most people are, are normal, and then there's just, like, the people who are, like, working for Raytheon already. <laughs> Doing internships for Raytheon or, like, uh, Lockheed Martin. Getting that, uh, getting that... Wait, assume 90% confidence where necessary? Oh, maybe I need to do something there. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. There are a lot of, I mean, there are a lot more women than I thought there were going to be, which is not saying a lot, but 
There are some classes that I have that are like really, really not a lot of women, but some of it is just like you get unlucky. Which is better, better for them, but then like, oh god, I have to deal with so many fucking annoying guys. Use dimensional uncertainty propagation. I should do one that's dimensionless. Oh, any... Wait, I am wondering about this 90% confidence though. Hmm, hmm. I might need to do... That's not one. Hmm. I did a lot internship at Lockheed. I was a professional cardboard box builder. Well, one of the people I know who's doing an internship at Boeing now, um, they, she did a uh, jig creation, like molding um, for like a uh, fixture holdings for, for stuff. So she wasn't making like, you know, it, you get to do stuff <laughs> when you, uh, when you get to do stuff, but. That's fine, that's fine. Wait, she? Boeing? No, she's just cracked. I mean, all of the women engineers here are like actually like the smartest people ever. I mean, at least in mechanical. The guys are the ones like failing, you know, dynamic. They're the ones getting A's like consistently skipping lectures and like not having to, because they just know it so well. I mean, it's because they're held to a higher standard, you know? Because people just think that, <laughs> no, it's because they're actually good. Like when I talk to guys about stuff, there's like a 3% chance they know what's going on. And then it's like, if I talk to like a, like a girl about it, they're always like, yeah, I get, I, yeah, I fucking get this. Same with professors, honestly. All of the, well, okay, one of the, one of the professors I've had is just, she's just not a very nice person, but all the guy professors are really annoying. That's so different from where I am. I don't know, I mean, I'm in a very, I'm in one of the top five engineering schools in America, so I mean, <laughs> It's not an e like it's not an easy place to get into. <laughs> people uh people definitely want to go here. Max uh, the pressure sensor. Maximum uncertainty. Oh. Maximum uncertainty allowed by the pressure. We would have an uncertainty of no more than Oh, pressure is a function of depth. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I see, I got it, got it. We'll just back it out. Are you sure they were being sincere and truthful? Bro, I know their GPAs, yeah. <laughs> like... Yeah. As a woman, this is such a thing to listen. I know, Clem, I'm like, damn, this is... odd. <laughs> Men. <laughs> USA is so weird. No, women are just people. <laughs> like, if they if they get into college, it's like they're probably gonna be really good at what they do. Well, I mean, like for my program, you like have to apply in engineering, and we have like a what is our I don't know what it's at right now. Let's see. It's. 6.6% acceptance, I think. So. <laughs> it's, it, you know, if you get in, it's like, you know, it's all, uh, like, you kind of need to have a GPA that's, like, pretty perfect. And then you also have to be, like, a good candidate on top of that. My mind is being blown away right now. Oh, what is GPA? Grade point average. So, like, how well you did. Basically, like, getting all A's in school. Like, if you get an A, it, like, adds, you know, 
4.0 to your G, not 4.0. If you get like an A, if you get 100%, then it's a 4.0. And so, mine is, mine is still pretty good, but you know, it's engineering. I think our average is 2.4 or 2.5 when you graduate, because <laughs> it's, you take some hard classes, you take some hard classes. Where I am, you do an exam, and that exam decides the school you go to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard that before. I think it's like... That... I... Yeah, I know places that do that. It's like... In America, you can really easily rig GPA, depending on like the school you go to. So that's why a lot of schools don't just actually look at your GPA. They look at like how well you did. You should call your mom and ask her how she's doing. That's real. That's so real. God, women are just normal people is the thing. And they're also really smart and like cool. And if I didn't have women in my classes... Psychology, pedagogy, or nursing where the scores are so low? I feel like that's... I feel like that's being very... It's making a lot of assumptions. Like, the psychology, uh, yeah, I know, you'd want, you'd want people in your medical programs to be good at things, I hope. Where women are genius, women all around the world are, women all around the world are, are smart. I don't know why that's, like, news. <laughs> I mean, I guess, damn, I forgot that, like, some people actually still think that women are not smart. Like, I thought that was just like, people on Twitter. <laughs> okay, what do we, what do we need? We need, um, we want the, um, we want like U, U, UP, but, oh uh, yeah, well, I'll just say UP. UP for U uh, H equals plus or minus one plus. Engineering is like 80%. Well, that's... Well, I mean, because like, okay, we have like the SAT, right? Which is a test you take that is pretty meaningless. Um, and also not very... Yeah, it's basically a test you take that, like, you give your scores to, it's out of, like, 1600 or something. Or you can take the other one, which is out of 36. And, you know, if you get, if you get a high grade. But, like, I mean, the school that I go to doesn't accept that, um, test, because they're like this, <laughs> we don't care about that. Um, because it's not a very good, it's not a very good indicator of, like, how well you're doing. It doesn't really tell you what classes, that tell them what classes you took, or how well you did in those classes, or you know, if you were pushing yourself or whatever, or also what you focused on. I mean, like, cause some schools you can, you know, maybe you focus on like bio, but you're not very good at physics, but like you're going into, you know, biochem. So it's more important. Anyway, let's solve for P equals rho H. Um, rho. I don't like doing it this way, but it's okay. Oh, I forgot we can use... Well, hmm. I kind of wouldn't hate doing it the quicker way for this one, but let's just do the nominal value. Find... All right, we're gonna have to do like a little problem solving, but it's fine which ranges from 63.68 to 64.24 to the average, and then we'll calculate that. We'll have to do statistical uncertainty, whatever. What is? Is it normal for women to get into engineering where you are? In my class of 60, there were three women and two quit. Um, in my classes, so my biggest class is like 200 people which is our uh, geometric dimensions and tolerancing class. Um, and I would say there's like, 
Let's see, out of 200, how many am I going to actually estimate here? I would say there's at least like 20 women. So that would be like 10%. It's probably a little higher. In my... In my lab for that class, so the actual, like, the, the not giant lecture, there's like maybe 18 people, maybe a little bit more, maybe like, maybe like 20 people. And I would say there's like probably four or five women. Um, I don't know our... That's actually a good question. Let me see what our... I, they probably have statistics on it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Especially with mechanical engineering, because mechanical engineering is like... Like, there are more women in environmental engineering, for example, just because... Part of it is also because... Um, like, I'm going to be honest a lot of the women that I know have more moral compasses than the guys I know, and they don't want to work for, like, the military, and mechanical engineering is mostly military work, and so they go into environmental engineering because they think that's where solar is, but that's actually mechanical. So, you know, that's why the, let's see, mechanical engineering a gender split in my school. Let's see. It says, I think it says, I think it says 20, yeah, about 20, 22, 20, 22 for mechanical engineering. We have a lot of white people though. Like picking environmental science or biology over geology because geology usually gets you into oil. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of our in, our environmental engineers end up going into oil, and then people are like, well, shit, I didn't know that <laughs> that, that was the major that goes into oil, because, you know, you don't know that until you get into the major, and you go to a career fair, and you're like, oh my god, there's so many oil companies here. Or you go to ME fairs and there's like only HVAC and you're like, okay, cool. I'm okay with HVAC. And then you go and you realize that like half of these people are putting ventilation into prisons. And you're like, well, I don't want to work in putting ventilation into prisons. <laughs> like, it's a, uh, it's a kind of weird space, but I mean, in like, you know, in my college, it's, it's like fairly fairly easy to transfer between engineering majors if you're interested in that like um you know if it's you start out in chemical or you start out in chemical but you want to go to biochem and you have the prereqs for it it's like yeah you can do that let's see gravity is you guys are either trolling me or brainwashed no i'm just being real i literally just looked up the statistics for my school bro <laughs> I swear to you, there are actually women who go to, like, who go to my school. I don't know how to talk. <laughs> yeah, some of the, I mean, like, we have, we have uh, our winning formula team, which is, what did we win? I thought we win, wait, let's see. We won a pretty high place. What did we win? Um, and this was a, a national, this is 2023, yeah, we got sixth in, um, the Michigan one, and there are like, okay, in this picture of the team, there's like three women in this picture, and this one, the picture is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like 21 people? No third option, which you didn't consider the perspective that women could be good at engineering. Yeah, I mean, you know, there are certainly classes in my school where, like, there have been no women in the class at all. Just because, again, like, just kind of statistics. But, like, I mean, all, for racing, they like having women because they're lighter. 
And so if they're good at, at, if they can be a project lead and they can also drive the car, you know, like they have less weight, so they're not going to go as like slow. They're going to be faster. Um, so it's, it's cool if they have women also because, you know, they're good at things. It is crazy though, because like these cars are, <laughs> they are, they are wild. <laughs> I would not want to drive one of those cars. <laughs> My friend who's doing the Boeing internship was was driving one of our formula cars, but she uh, she ended up not being able to go because of exams and stuff. Um, what was this? 32, presumably the gauge could be zeroed on the surface, which would account for local sea level, but gravity doesn't vary too much. Okay. 32.2, and then H is our depth. Okay, so we're saying at 100 feet deep. Is feet. I don't know why I just wrote feet. 32.2 um, feet per second squared. Or, wait, why is our pressure of seconds in it? That's. Um, oh, pounds force. There we go. Oh, it's pounds force, not pound. Uh, oh, no, it is pounds mass, but I gotta convert to pounds force. Ew. Okay. I dislike looking at this equation. I'm going to write it differently. 63.96 pounds force per... Okay, so pounds mass over feet times one pound mass feet per second squared. And all this over... Just make it bigger. He was like, don't write out these things that will help you. And I'm like, but you can write out the things that'll help you. That actually cancel. Hmm, it's the on the bottom of that, but it's also on the bottom of that. I don't know if I would cancel. I don't think it would actually. Why is that like that? Oh, because pounds force is up here. It's also not one. Hey, thirty-two point thirty-two point one seven four. That's squished. How nice. Force. Yeah, yeah. I feel like these should, these will, these would cancel. I'm gonna say they cancel. Why not? Go for it. Ugh. Yeah, this stuff is like it's not that hard, but I just, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Never, a, never a good idea to. To skimp on unit conversions, especially for this kind of thing. 32.174. This divided by 100. 32. Hmm. That is very small. That makes me concerned that I'm doing this wrong. Would it be pounds force per Eat cubed though? Yeah, maybe. The pressure should probably be more at a hundred feet. I'd like to hope. Well, I mean, we're not talking about atmospheric pressure. But let me check. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna write this the way that like I can really see the units. Times we have one over thirty-two point two uh, feet per second squared. See, there we go. No, it's divided. Urgh. Hmm. 
Oh, wait, no, yeah, 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 like that. Times one over 100 feet. Yeah, that shit is not canceling. Um, unless I did my pound mass conversion wrong, which, you know, also plausible. Is it pound mass second squared? No, because gravity is... Meters, meter, uh, kilograms, meters per second squared. Yeah. So pound mass, meters per second squared. Huh? Huh? And then pound. Whatever. Whatever. Let me, let me see. He probably wrote it down. I just want to see this one thing. And then... Yeah. I am gonna have to go soon though, because I have to I have to make food. But but um but, but, whoa, okay. I gotta check I gotta check how to do that though. I definitely missed the go eat. Happy turkey, happy turkey. Happy turkey. That's effective gravity. Okay, we define it as H equals... Oh, that's... Ah, okay, well, he already started doing it differently. That's fine. Yeah, I, I see why he should. we should do it the other way first. Yeah, because we care about the uncertainty in... In H, and then, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to finish that after I eat, but it was so nice being able to stream after only a day away. Um, I'll probably, I want to do some frames problems for statics, I think. Practice, because I love me a good frame. I love a good frame. Um, frame and machine. And then, oh, I gotta do centroidal, centroidal uh, area moments of inertia as well, which I think I get, I get, but I just, troidal, <laughs> oh, I love, I love troidal, centroidal, about the centroid. I was so ready to have a calc four jump scare of triple integrals about, you know, doing mass properties of fucking centroids and, and densities and all this shit. And I asked my professor and I was like, hey, so are we going to do, you know, varying density, varying density problems? And he was like, um, no, not really. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, okay, then damn, why do we learn this so early? I mean, I get it, but like, I could have taken statics like a million years ago. I could have taken it last quarter, last spring. I shouldn't have taken it last spring, though. <sighs> Alright. Alright. I will see you guys later. Have a nice night. I'm EP. Okay. <laughs> Bye.